Hey everyone, welcome back to another Miami Breaker 305. Got another mystery pack for you guys. This one is called 717 Mystery Mega Packs MLB Baseball. So pretty much all baseball has a guarantee to slab. Two autos, three numbered cars, and there's a good chance I might be coming back to this seller again. I didn't check what he had for single cards. I wasn't sure if he didn't have a red pretty much um, the feedbacks that he got and man there everybody was pretty much happy with them so um, without further ado let's open it up and allow you guys to be the judge and see what you guys get so if you guys are wanting to go get them please check out his video that's a tape <clears throat> Again, these videos I do are live, on edit, on cut, raw, because don't want you guys to feel I have done anything to juice these guys up. I am purchasing out of my own money. They're not free, which I, I don't mind if they, you guys want to share your free stuff on my video to, to show people, but I prefer to make sure that um, you guys see it is raw so I feel so let's do all right let's do, uh, uh, let's go with this one first all stars and inserts okay so they're all in penny sleeves so that's good Eddie Fre Fre Freddie Freeman uh foil board of Daniel Bird uh Brex Baron Braxton and not numbered, so not bad. And these are called the all-star inserts, so elite. All right, Robin Ventura, I actually got this one and this one too, love that one. Matt Cain, All right. Julio Franco, Idol, David Justin's Willis Sturgill. I like this one, this is really nice. Giancarlo Stanton, we use this, 2013, this is nice. There's a Ricky Henderson. Jim Tomey, nice. Bobby Feller. And McClutch, and who's back with the Pirates. Good to see. Carlson Whiskey. And a 91 rookie from Omar Alvarez. And Ozzy Smith, 1983 All Star. So, not bad, guys. These are All Stars inserts and packs. Uh, let's see what this one brings in. Actually, like I said, I bought two of them. Because I wanted to make sure that um, if I got a video that was really, really good cards or the opposite, we can kind of verify with the second one. So, okay, so these are the autos and slabs. So, we already see. Let's do the prospect and rookies, which for me, rookie is where they're at. All right, first one is Matthew Nelson, Christian Stewart, Andrew Painter. And this one is from uh, Draft Debut. Connor Silbolt. I can't recognize one player yet. Jake Walsh. Now, I started two, Trisky Torosant. All right, Josh Bell. All right, Max Freed, rookie card. Okay, okay, now we're talking. All right, Luke William, Andrew Vaughn, all right, Mutt Castle, Brian Scott, Kyle Riley, Nick Laboto, Stephen Kwan. Okay, no way. Rookie card from Wow. So we got a bang right there, right off the bat. Stephen Kwan and Freddie Freeman. Bowman, rookie card. There it is, right here, 2011. So already, a, that's that's a hit. Okay. So now let's get into. Obviously, we've seen it. Alec Bowman first. Jim and ten. So not playing around. A nice, a lot of nice ones. So this is the auto, the number card, and the slab. So Aaron Ashby. 
which we recognize. Um, Tavares. Spencer Strider, ready rookie numbered. Okay, okay. Got my attention. Lorenzo Cain, numbered to 300. And Edison Valsquez. Okay, so they're not playing. I really, really like it. So let's do the last one. And if I can find my scissors. Okay, got them. Let's check out pack number two. So he wasn't playing. These are really, for the price of it, it's really nice. So there's the Bowman. Actually, we got our slabs, but let's put it to the side and let's do the all stars. We know. All right, so the stars. All right, so first one is one Soto. I love those stars of the MLB. Max Munchie, Reese Hoskins, Paul Goldschmidt Select, Bryce Harper, Dante Bichet, obviously the father of Bo Bichet. Dan Melendez, Jared Weaver, Harvey Quinn, <laughs> Quinn, Kevin Mitchell, Buster Posey, there's another Dante. I used to be a big fan of Dante Bichette. I used to love collecting his cards growing up in the 90s. Tony Gwynn, there's a Ricky Henderson stealing base. Yusel Puig. Cuban would have been nice to see him in Miami. I mean, Jazz Chisholm, him, and these are nice ones right here. I got this one, those big cards. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, these are the big cards. And then you got Bob Gibson, old school colors from, and then of course you have Willie Stardew. So not bad, guys. I mean, kind of give you a variation of different ones, which is fun to see, you know, it's nostalgia feeling. Uh, especially me just collect seeing those brought me back to my 90 days buying them from the ice cream truck it was one of my fun memories going walking to from school to the house and you know always keeping my money instead of buying lunch so here we got uh corbett ruiz rookie billy hampton Otto lopez riley green okay we're talking about Clint Frazier, Kevin Castro, Vigero Brujan, Michael Kopchak, Blaze Jordan's first paper, Key Brian Hayes, rookie, Jose Miranda, rookie card, Ian Anderson, rookie card, wow, top gold, Gary Sanchez, William Ostadio, Joel Dell, Stephen Kwan again, Elo Jimenez, rated rookie, Wonder Franco and Christian. Oh my God, Christian Yellow's rookie card. I got this one and I love it. Um, I know he is having a bad season. There's no way in hell I'm getting rid of it. I actually want to get it graded. Tops Chrome, Christian Yellow. I'm actually nervous because um, I really do like this card. Um, and the center, pretty good. So I might have to take it up and get it centered. I mean, um, graded i haven't done none and i'm thinking to myself which one would if i would to do a graded which one would it be i got i got so many players i got so many types of cards um especially of um wonder franco who's one of my favorite players uh, jazz chisholm and julio rodriguez spencer torkinson I, I i don't know if i should go old school because i have a lot of rookies from back in the days and those cards are so hard to grade. Here's a Kyle Lewis gold. Those that follow me, I've <laughs> shown you guys, I've got a bunch of Kyle Lewis. Uh, the fact that you can find them now for 10 bucks, um, $5, as seen um, Jab's video, it's sad to say. I mean, rookie of the year too. Um, and he got traded this year to Arizona. It's sad to see, which I'm, I'm really upset, you know. I, I'm, I'm glad because I think he'll get a fresh start. He needs it. He has the tools. He's just injury prone and slow starts or whatever the case might be. It just, it's upsetting, you know, because uh, once I started following him, enjoying him, buying his cards, and, you know, I think Julio, between him, Julio Roberts, uh, here's a chance, Adams. 
that's a nice one right there. Josh Lowe. I got Josh Lowe Auto. David Peralta. And Trey Turner. And Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia is rookie. Great. Um, scripted. So, I can't complain, guys. I really do enjoy it for the price you're getting. $35. Uh, AARBU82. Please check them out. 717 Mystery Cards. Um, they don't lie. They do tell you what they bring in. And then those that love vintage cards, um, you can't really go wrong. I mean, they're really good ones. Um, got nothing to say, but it's really nice. Really nice. Really enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite ones, like I said. If he changes it around this year with Arizona, would his cards go back up? Hard to say. Um, but I'm still collecting it. Still got like five or six of his um, Kyle Lewis's. And I'm graded. Now, we're talking about cards. I got a bunch of his cards. Um, bought it when 2019 and when I began back going hard on baseball again. Um, before the COVID season hit. And of course, it became hard again. But I, you know, the selling market was high. Gave it a chance, but trying to realize it's hard to let go of my cards it's just extremely difficult um seeing how all my cards that i had growing up i don't have anymore um seeing my son now loves collecting his cards he has a bunch of them especially pokemon i'm doing it for him now keeping them around for him so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys give this uh seller a try has a 99.4 percent positive feedback i don't know how you can go wrong with it i mean i'm sure if it was damaged i would do that but you can't control that that's uh the risk you take um from you know when you go order online so I'm, i gave him 100 percent positive feedback this is before opening because i know these guys you, you do the best you can i was a seller too so there's nothing you can do once it's being shipped so there it is guys have a great one hopefully you enjoyed the video please follow and like Please watch my other videos. I am getting uh, top series one uh, jumbo because, boy, these hangers and blisters packs are horrible. Horrible. I bought a um, hobby box thinking, I, you know, I'm going to get, but no, jumbo is the way to go if you're interested in everything else. Peace out, guys, and have a great one to the next one.